You are watching that Christian show. And Josh is at his usual blend of vlogging, the Bible, channel, and other Christian commentary. So, enjoy! Yay, there's one of us. Hey there. So, um, on the topic of prayer, uh, why pray? Why is prayer important? If God already knows all about you and knows all that he has written, why should you pray? It's because God created us to have free will. He wants us to come to him willingly and not as robotic creations. He has given us a mind to make decisions, and the most important decision is about eternity. Even though he knows the future, we don't know the future choices we will make. It's important to live by his guidance to make the right choices. In the Bible, you will find kings, prophets... And ordinary people like you and me averted destruction by praying to God. One prayer stopped the sun. One prayed fire down from heaven. One gained 15 years to his own life. And one prayer even saved a whole city. These people prayed intensely to the God who answers prayer. When you pray, God listens to your cries. When you don't pray, God feels left out of your life. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. First Peter I'm sorry, 2 Peter 3, 9b. As you pray consistently, you are affirming the existence of God in your life. You are building your faith as you see God's hand do his mighty work on your behalf just because you asked. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Matthew 7, 7-8. Okay, so um, from allaboutprayer.org, the subject of unanswered prayer, unheard answers. Are you experiencing unanswered prayer? Does God turn a deaf ear to some of your desperate pleas for healing, finances, or protection? We all experience irritation when our best efforts to communicate result in an unsatisfactory response. Or worse, no response at all. We wonder, did you ever receive my message? When we pray, we often equate the lack of immediate, tangible results with God rejecting our prayers. In James 5:13 to 16, we are urged to pray earnestly with the promise of powerful and wonderful results. Why would God emphasize the importance of prayer and then choose not to respond with a joyful answer? When answering prayer, God responds first to our attitude, much as a parent responds to a precious child. Psalm 103:13 to 14. Our childish actions and attitudes frequently affect a prayer's desired results: unforgiveness, selfishness, doubt, greed, pride, and stubbornness hinder God's desire to answer prayer. Alright, so I don't have a whole a heck of a lot of time, so whatever Christian Facebook updates there are, I'm going to read them. My heart will sing no other name, Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. Come on, come on, come on, load, 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 come on, really, the page isn't going to load, and I'm actually reading it this time, what the heck. Hey, what's going on, yeah, I'm this weird looking face looking back at you. This is Josh, and I am presenting to you from Voice of the Martyrs their prayer request for today, which was for Nepal. Many Nepalese cannot read. Pray that Christians will find creative ways to share the gospel. In Jesus' name. Hey folks, so well, Channel 10 or... The Today Show is um, doing traffic and news and stuff in the background. I'm going to read to you Christian updates on Facebook as part of my morning devotional. Um, 
The Bible is, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, Hebrews 11.1. 1. What? Jesus speaks, Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age, Matthew 28.19. From belief changers, Lord, there is none like you. I ask you to open my spiritual eyes to see as you do. I open my heart to receive what you give. Let me hear your voice clearly. There are many concerns and needs competing for my attention and focus, but as I bring them to you, my heart takes comfort in knowing you care. I ask for your direction today, and I pray for those who are fighting confusion, hopelessness, and fear. We need your wisdom to know what to do and what to leave undone. Today is yours. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen, and so be it. This is the kitten that doesn't like to be filmed. She runs when I used, I used to sit here and try to turn on the camera and stuff, and she would do what she's doing now. She'd freak out and run away and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <clears throat> From Doris Pennard, Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception, according to the tradition of men according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. Colossians 2, 6-8 From I pray all day, surely righteous people are praising your name. The godly will live in your presence. Psalm 140, verse 13 Anyway, I love God. You cannot come to the Bible with your own agenda and find truth. The only things you should bring are a heart set on God, an open mind, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> From Jesus Christ by Global Scope Ministries Romans 11.36 For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Praise God. From I pray all day, O righteous God who searches minds and hearts, bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. Psalm 7.9 From Jesus daily, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. From Jesus Loves You, over 60 million people around the world face persecution for their faith. While this seems like a far distant problem for many of us, it is a real world life and death struggle for millions of Christians. There, from Romans 14 to, he that has faith eateth all sorts of things, and he that doesn't have faith eats only vegetables. <laughs> you know what? I'm joining my own club. It's called People Who Eat Tasty Animals. Come on. If you eat animals, join PETA. People Who Eat Tasty Animals. <laughs>